I'm Sophie Robinson and this is our moving in day. So we've moved from the city, from our flat, here to the beautiful countryside, four bedroom house and we've got five acres and a massive project on our hands. I can't wait to show you guys around. So we've bought this property with my mum and our family are going to be in the main house. But you can see here there's like a single storey annex building which at the moment is like an office, it's got a bathroom, a guest bedroom and a garage. And we're going to completely remodel that. Big sliding doors overlooking the view. We're going to really insulate it, clad it out in solar panels. And that is where my mum's going to live because we bought this property together. Because by pooling both sets of money together, it's enabled us to also have all this land as well for us to enjoy. This is the kitchen, a uh, very dated kitchen. I think this was probably put in in the 80s. I cannot wait to get rid of this. This is horrible, but this isn't going to stay in the kitchen. We've got plans to move this from the north end of the house over to the south facing view, but we're not going to be able to do that for quite a few years. So I'm looking to do a real budget makeover on this kitchen in order for me to be able to live with it. But it's got a beautiful red brick floor. It's got a lovely kind of ingle nook fireplace. So there are some nice details, but those cabinets have got to go. This is the hallway and this is a problem we've got in lots of areas of this house. Lots of whippy Artec. So even before we've moved in, my husband's been in here and he's already made a start getting rid of all of that and plastering it out because that is a horror that has to go. This is like the formal dining room and I really don't like this room. It's east facing, it's really dark. It's got all these dark beams here that aren't original, they're fake. So they're going to get painted out white. And ideally I'd like to punch some bigger windows in here and maybe use it as more of like a study and an adult sitting room because we don't really use formal dining rooms. So big plans for this room too. Now this is the best part of the house. This is towards the south facing end and we get all the amazing views. It's got an enormous sitting room here, gorgeous Inglenook fireplace, wonderful views out onto the field and the woodlands beyond. I just love it. But our big plans are to punch out this wall put a nice big glassy extension with our kitchen and dining room in here and have this as a big open plan family space. We are gonna to have to wait a few years before we can do that though. So in the meantime, we're making do. My husband's already plastered out all the nasty red 1980s brickwork that was around this fireplace. Um, I'm gonna put some more contemporary stuff at the window and yeah, think of a good color. I think because this is south facing, I could really go for color in here, so that's quite exciting. This is the conservatory, it got put on with the extension in the 1980s and it is looking really dated, a little bit tired, um, but it is a fantastic spot to stand in. I love the fact you can look all the way across the countryside at the most amazing view. But we've applied for planning permission to make this a little bit larger and have our kitchen and our dining table in here. Um, so I just can't wait, I think this is going to be my favourite part of the whole house. So time to come and have a look upstairs. So this is my, going to be my St Arthur's room. We've already got rid of the Artex and some really nasty polystyrene coving that wasn't in keeping with this period of property. So we've got a nice blank canvas in here. It is quite a dark room, it's only got these titchy little windows, so I'm going to have to think of a way of decorating this space to try and breathe a bit of life into it and also come up with some good storage because Arthur has got tons of stuff to fit in here. And this is one of three bedrooms of this size. This is the family bathroom and I hate it, which might sound a bit mean because, you know, it's fairly newish, but it's so beige and so boring and so catalogue styly and plastic and bleh. So I'm going to have to bite my tongue with this one because this is one of the last things to change. But um, again, because it's quite a nice old cottagey style house, I think this style of bathroom is just wrong on every level. So this is the landing. We've got an extra loo and a shower in there, which is handy. And then it opens out into this large, lovely, sunny landing. And I think, again, we're going to get rid of this sort of coving, which isn't right for this house, probably update the doors and really add some personality to this space. I think you can have real fun with hallways and landings. So the master bedroom, check it out. This is an absolutely massive room, absolutely huge. 
So we're going to get ourselves an Empress size bed so the whole family can get in it. But my husband's real wish and aspiration is to knock through this ceiling and create a high apex ceiling, actually go into the roof. That might be quite a bit of engineering, but he's absolutely adamant because actually it's quite a long room and the, and the ceiling feels quite low. Also, considering we've got the best views in the whole of East Sussex out of those windows, the windows are very, very small. So again, we're going to look to put some bigger windows in this bedroom to really maximise the view, which again is why we fell in love with this house. I just don't know why you wouldn't want to lie in bed and not look at them. And then I've also got a little walk-in wardrobe number here, which we're going to do a bit of work with and our own ensuite, so it really is my dreams come true this room. So there we have it, that's our new house. We are going to completely remodel the outside. There isn't going to be an inch of the inside that I'm not going to completely change, but I'm going to document it all here on my YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with how we're getting on.